Hello, Ram and family, and today we are back with the How to Study series, and the subject we will be covering today will be physiology. So, yeah, physiology is a really, 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 really important subject in your math school life because it is basically the study of the function of the body. It's one of the basic medical science subjects you need to cover it well in order to have a good grip on other subjects as well. So, physiology is one of the subjects you need to spend a good amount of time on like uh, if you're a first year or second year medical student studying the, in, in the start of your med school then I think that you need to spend like uh, an hour or two each day on physiology in order to cover it well. So let's start. Uh, what books do I recommend? Well, I have already shown you this book, uh, uh, Garden Hall. So many students find this book annoying. Let me just tell you it's from the start. Even you may find this annoying. It's a really good, uh, big book. It's a really big book. It's good, but it's really big. You can see the amount of text on each page and it's just the volume but it's a uh, two volume book. So uh, you will feel exhausted reading this. Uh, you may want to give up in the mid, but the thing is uh, physio is a subject where you have to, where you need to have your concepts top notch, and I believe that this book, uh, the way it is written, the way it explains everything, it just builds up those concepts in the best way possible. And also, uh, many students all just find this thing annoying that uh, in Gaiden, everything is repeated again and again and again, and this makes the text even longer than it is. So. What I would say is that's actually a good thing. The more you repeat this stuff, the more it sets inside your mind and the better you memorize it. So I think Guidance Hall is a really good book. Apart from Guidance Hall, other textbooks which students prefer using are Ganangan Hall. Uh, I haven't used it myself so I can't say anything. Also there is this Costanzo book on which I'll come shortly. So, we just covered Garden Hall, the textbook. So it comes with this short review book. Uh, we call it Baby Garden. The actual name is Coffee Companion to Garden Hall Medical Physiology. Uh, you can see it by the condition by the condition of this book that I have used it a lot. I use uh, this book like before. I used to read this book before every exam, and it really helped me because uh, the stuff written in this it actually correlates to the big Garden book and it helped me revise everything in a short amount of time and it's a really good pocket book so you can use it and especially it would be really good if you use it along with Garden Hall. So yeah. Uh, coming to another review book, we have this book called uh, PRS. It's from the board review series, publications and physiology written by Linda S. Costanzo. So the author is the same one, uh, the one who wrote the Costanzo Big Book. That's why um, I really like this book because if you have, want to use Costanzo Big Book, you can and uh, like mix it up with this book. It's a short review book, and everything's written in point form. So, yeah. And the thing about this is, many students who will be, who are who will be giving you some of these step one, they recommend that use this book because it is short and you can also combine it with Costanzo and Costanzo is a book which explains the concepts well if you don't know them already so yeah so the books I would recommend are Garden Hall, uh, The Baby Garden and for step one if you're studying for step one like I am I'll, I'll be using this BRS book uh, to uh, study physiology so yeah it's, it's a really good combination and now coming to how to study physiology uh, Physiology is a lengthy subject, but it's not a difficult subject to cover. Like, it's one of the most interesting subjects. Uh, yeah, you'll find really, really interesting on how the body functions, or how each and everything is related to other systems, etc. And uh, it's a really fun subject, I would say. Not everything in medical school is fun. Uh, also, um, a good way, maybe I, I haven't used this technique, but uh, many students recommend using this payment technique to study physiology because in physio you need to 
like I said before, you need to have your concepts top notch. And uh, many students recommend using the Feynman technique, in which uh, you have to study the subject first yourself, and then you have to explain it to others. And this way, they say that uh, they memorize the stuff well, they learn the stuff well. Uh, I actually have really smart friends, so I haven't used them this technique. Like my friends, they know each and everything much better than myself. And now coming to what video lectures you uh, you may watch. So uh, uh, as you might have seen in my biochemistry video, uh, I discussed Dr. Najib lectures. So again, for physiology, they are again good. Uh, only downside is they are really really long, like one hour or 40 minutes or even two hour long lectures. So if you are in a hurry, you may not want to watch that. Uh, apart from that, there are capital lectures, there are actually two sets, 2010 lectures and 2014 lectures and I would really recommend the 2010 ones. Why? Because they are really short videos, 10 to 20 minutes, they are to the point. Also the teachers covering them like Dr. Conrad Fisher and Dr. Kudra, they are really good. The 2014 Dr. Brett Wilson, he's also a good teacher but the videos are like 4 hour long. So if you, for example, if you want to find something related to glomerular filtration rate, GFR, here you might have the video specifically on uh, GFR but in 2014 ones you have to go through the uh, whole 4 hour long videos to find the GFR stuff somewhere in between. So that's why I would uh, recommend the couple in 2010 lectures. Um, so I think this video uh, covers maybe everything you might need to know about physiology and that's it for this video. I hope you liked it and if you did then like the video and do share it with your friends these videos might actually help someone who really needs this information and that's it for today. I hope you do good in that school. I hope you study physio really well.